get going now. <laughs> so you're gonna grab your hands uh, behind your back, nice parallel feet, like hip width apart. You're gonna roll your shoulders back, open up your chest, and look up towards the sky. Time to play the game! So you look up towards the sky. Open up your chest. You're doing great. All right, then you bend your knees like so, and you try to put your upper body over your knees and then let your arms hang behind you. Don't worry, if you can't get this far, don't worry. Just do whatever you can to get a little shoulder stretch here. Alright, release carefully um, and then bring your arms up to your knees like so. What are you going to do is you're going to do a nice circle. Wait, I need to move the other way, I think. <laughs> like an ostrich drinking water, exactly. So nice big circles with your knees, just warming up our knees here. And the other way. Imagine some music. You should. <laughs> Smart readers. <laughs> it's from Lazy Town, the music, you know. We are number one. Hey, hey! <laughs> That's the song that's playing. <laughs> and we dance. Um, Alright, then you're going to drop down to the floor. Keep your knees bent if you need to. And then you're just going to walk to one side with your hands. Walk to the other side. Just back and forth. If you can't reach you have something to hold on to, do it there. As long as you can feel a little bit of a stretch and just everything moving. Alright, so now you stay in the middle. Let your head hang. One hand to the ground or whatever you can reach. And then you try to straighten the, uh, wait, straighten the opposite leg and rotate up to look at the sky. And then the other way. Look up to the sky. And again, other side. Today. All right, 
last two. This one's very easy for you. That's great. That's great. All right, really good job. Bring your hands to the ground again. And then I want you. Oh my God, my arm clicks. <laughs> that was painful. Uh, oh yeah, hands in the middle. <laughs> Like so, straighten your legs as much as you can. Oh, let's see One second. Gotta just fix that. There we go, I think. <laughs> Hands in the middle. See how far you can fall down. And then straighten your arms. Then you're gonna bend our knees as far down in the squat as you can go. And then straighten them again. So whatever you can do, really push your knees out to really open up your hip. Stretching today can be Van Dam eyes. So that's great. <laughs> oh, we should do a Van Dam workout. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. I should write that down. Just inspired by him, you know. We could do a Bruce Lee one too. Oh, that would be really fun. <laughs> of course, that would be pretty hard because he does a lot of flipping. Oh, monkey man. Thank you for the follow. Hope you have a good day. All right, last one. Very good. All right, then you're going to sit down onto your knees like so. I don't really have right now. Okay, so you're going to sit like this. Then you're just going to wobble back. And just put a little bit of pressure into your feet. Nothing crazy. Just to feel a little bit of a stretch through your feet here. Read what I'm what I put. Oh, I need to know. All right, really good job. Well done. Okay, so now we're gonna do just a little bit for the hands here. So you're gonna clasp your hands together. We're gonna move back. There we go. Clasp your hands together and nice big rotations with your wrists. See, it's cracked something. <laughs> Scared? Did I? I do crack a lot. I, I'll say that. I crack a lot. Okay, good. Then you bend your wrist like so. You push in towards, so just a little push on the back of your hand. Hi, crying potato. Like you were doing. <laughs> it's good to see you. Good. Then you point your palm up. Hand on your fingers and a little bit of a push inward. Feel a good stretch through your wrists. Good. Other hand. Point it downwards. Push on the outside or the back of the hand, I guess. Remember to breathe. You know, in a, in a stretch like this, it's not like that demanding, so I tend to forget to breathe. And I can imagine that's the problem for some other people too, but it's important to breathe. Keep breathing, follow your breath. All right, other way. Open up your palm and push inward. Nice big stretch. One more deep breath. All right, good job. Now, I'm just moving like this. You don't have to. Uh, you grab your shoulders if possible, otherwise just have your arms bent. And then big circles with your elbows. As big of a circle as you can make it. Really getting our shoulders warmed up.
Be great. Four more. You got it. Last one. Really good job. Shake your arms. Well done. All right. Now there's three exercises with resistance bands. If you don't have a resistance band, you can also use like a belt or something like that. Of course, uh, some of these are definitely uh, made for resistance bands, but you can try it. And if it doesn't work, then don't worry. It's only three exercises and we have a whole phase three left. So plenty of exercises to come with at resistance bands. Do you do sorry, this is stuck. Stop these. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna use one of these, which is my heaviest band, but you choose whatever you want. Do 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 Alright, so first one is you're gonna sit like this still. Wait, let me just move honestly. <laughs> Let me just move the camera down a little bit. It's not going to move it. It's not going to play it. There we go. Okay. So you're going to sit like this. Roll it around your hands. And then find a good start wide so that we don't ruin our shoulders because it's too close. So start wide. Then you're going to keep your arms straight. Pull your hands over your head. And see if you can rotate it back. So you can do this with a belt as well. Anything that's that will keep your hands a little bit together. Now, if that felt like it was too easy, it was a, if it was a good, uh, if you felt like it was hard enough for your shoulders, but not so hard that it was painful, then you stay where you are. Otherwise, you bring your arms a little bit closer together. Your hands a little bit closer together. Keep your arms straight. Roll back. See, this is a good spot for me. It's not too hard. Nothing is going out of the joint, <laughs> but it's also hard enough as to where I can feel it work. Something was saying a weird noise. <laughs> what happened? Okay, whatever. Okay, three more. One. Two. Last one. Now you, you have a little bit of a wider hold again, but same idea is you're going to have your arms straight, then you're going to move your arms over to the side, keep your arms as straight as possible, see if you can touch your ear with your upper part of your arm, <laughs> and then roll over, touch your ear with the other arm, and then roll forward. And then to the other side. Here you go. Touch your ear. Keep your arms straight. Touch your ear. And bring it down. If you can't touch your ear, don't worry. Just see how close you can get. So here. Here. And there. Pretty good. And other way. Last time, this is both sides. Really good, the last one. Ah, there we go, hold on. Relax your shoulders for a second. And then last one with the resistance bands is the overhead pull or whatever we call it. I call it that at least. So you're gonna have um, your one arm above, one arm below. You grab a hold of the resistance band. This is, if you have a belt, you 
can still do this. Um, you can still pull a little bit, but it definitely is easier with a resistance band. So you're going to be like this, basically. And then I want you to pull upward. Do a nice stretch in this, the left shoulder, or this shoulder over here. I'm just going to do five of these. Three. Four. And five. Good job. And then downward. So now you pull your bottom arm down. There's one. Keep going. Two. Three. Four. And five. Good job. Now let's change sides. So other arm goes on top. And the other arm goes on bottom. So you pull upward and down. Keep going. Two. Three. Four. Five and then downward. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. That was sad. Hi, Kalita. Thank you for joining. <laughs> All right, grab some water. That was phase two. I got a hair rubber band and I can do it with fingers. That's great. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> nice workout. Yeah. Feels great for the shoulders. Feels great for the shoulders. Ba, 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 ba. All right, a little break before we do phase three, which I think is going to, no, we'll see. We have time. We have time today. About 50 minutes till I have to leave because otherwise I won't make it in time. <laughs> to the back there. Sweet. Yep. Little break. Feel your shoulders. Shake your muscles. Grab some water if you need to. My muscles get a nice pump already. Really? <laughs> well, it's not like it's not like any of these are like uh, that hard for the muscles. So that's interesting to hear. The next part uh, is all on the ground here, so you're gonna just be on the ground. You feel your muscles? That's great. That's great. Uh, I'm off for lunch plans, but gonna leave the tap on for the, those 50 minutes of watch time. Thank you, Philip. <laughs> Appreciate it. Go have lunch. I hope it's good. Hope you have a good lunch. Alright, let's get going again. Uh, and. We're going to basically be in a nice lotus position here. I hate this tablet, it's so annoying. So the light just shines on it so I can't really see it and I have to do this. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to actually just start by a nice little neck stretch because it's very important. You know, like it, it is a full body mobility and the neck is a part of that. If you do this exercise uh, in a hundred times, the gravity, I think, one can get ripped in two weeks. <laughs> you think? Maybe. <laughs> and I, I, it is, it is a nice, you know, stretch. This, it's not necessarily made to um, burn your muscles or make them very big, but if it's helping you to do that, I think that's great. And, you know, being mobile and being flexible does help, you know, your muscle growth because it gives more space. 
I just, it's, you're just gonna feel so much better in your body, at least from my experience. I feel so much better when I've stretched, you know, it's so nice. All right, so you're gonna start here. You're gonna tilt your head to the side. You're just gonna roll it down into the other side. I'm just gonna do that a couple times. You're flexible in mind. That's good, it's good. <laughs> Having a flexible mind is also, it's also very important. Okay, so you go from side to side here. All right, you keep it to one side. Tilt your ear down towards your shoulder. And I want you to roll your shoulders back, push down, and then reach for the ground. Nice deep breaths. And I want you to keep the stretch, but rotate your head to look over at Bamsel's foot. <laughs> you should feel more of a stretch through here now. A little bit of the back. Now I want you to grab this back slash side of your head and then pull so you're looking down towards your thighs. Really push your shoulder away from you, this shoulder. Really good. Other side. That's me when my head hurts. Yep, it's good for your head. <laughs> like a lot of, um, definitely not all headaches, not all, but some, a lot of headaches can be traced back to uh, having, you know, pain in your shoulders or your neck or something like that, and that'll give you a headache. So. Okay, other side here. You roll to the side. Nice, yeah. And then you push uh, your ear down towards your shoulder, roll your shoulders back, reach for the ground. Big breaths. Really push your shoulder away from you. Alright, good job. Now you keep the stretch, but you rotate your head to look to the side, but slightly downwards. Breathing into the pain. Alright, good job. Now you grab the back slash side of your head and pull it down so you're looking at your thighs. Keep pushing your shoulder away from you. Breathing. All right, really good job. Bring your head back to neutral. Just a little deep breath in, a deep breath out. Relief, 
Let's relieve the tension, as we say, and then look down. Hands behind your head, slight pull. Keep your back as straight as possible. We don't want to curve it as straight as possible. And then look up. Deep breaths. Really good job. Well done. Well done. Hello, Remy Self. Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. <laughs> All right, then you're going to reach over to the side. I feel really good now after that. That's great, Jamie. Love that. That's great. Yeah, stretching your necks is so important. But, like, and we, I also always feel so great afterwards. But it's not always I remember to do it when I stretch, and it's not good. All right, we're gonna stretch over to the side, reach your arm as far as you can, and then bring your arm over. And you're gonna roll to the front. Don't worry if you can't get your stomach all the way down. You're gonna roll as far to the front as you can. Sweep your arms across. Bring him over to the other side. Nice big stretch. And bring yourself up to the middle. I was watching a vid of Twitch guy who sits still smiling even though his house is getting robbed. That pose reminded me of that. <laughs> really? It looked like this? <laughs> Interesting. All right, so now you go to the side. You just were to start. Nice big stretch. Try to see if you can look up and under your arm. And then roll to the front. Look up towards the sky. me this feels great in like these muscles down here and these here. It's creating some space through our ribs. Really good job. Um, then you're gonna reach one arm over. You're gonna reach it and put it on the opposite side of your knee. And then you're gonna really elongate everything, straighten your back up, reach your other arm behind you, reach everything up, nice big twist, big inhale. As you breathe out, you twist into your back. And again. Really good job. Other way, such a good pose, yeah. <laughs> other way, reach it over. Straighten your back as much as possible. Reach behind you. Deep breath in. And twist. Deep breath out. And one more time. Good job. Hi, popularity. Good to see you too. Thanks for being here. Alright. Now time for the eagle. Breathe in CO2. Breathe out O2. What? I'd rather breathe in O2. <laughs> Wait, the opposite, yeah. I was like, um, don't we breathe out CO2? I, I just questioned everything I learned in school there. <laughs> or questioned that I had learned anything correct. <laughs> um, I also do in-breathe when I do feel the need of oxygen. That's a perfect quote. <laughs> perfect quote for this. <laughs> I was testing it. Fair. You know, we all need some tests in life. Perfect. Yes, <laughs> it was. <laughs> Alright, so fingers together. Like so. Like that. Bring them out in front of you. Nice straight back. Dig big, deep breath. Wow. 
Big inhale as you open up your chest, pull your shoulder blades together as much as you can. Breathe in, look up towards the sky. And then you round your back as you breathe out, pull your shoulder blades apart and put your fingertips together. And again, you open up. And you close. Just three more like this. You got it. Last one. Well done. Breathe for a second, grab some water if you need to. Then we're gonna keep going. Okay, so we're gonna be on all fours. Oh no. Yes, you're gonna love it, Johnny. <laughs> Hi, Manny. I always get some injuries in sports, but it's worse to do nothing. Exactly, exactly. Agreed. Then you're just gonna be in pain for all the time. Which I also am, but still. <laughs> At least there's some kind of relief sometimes, I guess. Um, okay, so we're on all fours here. And then you're just gonna arch your back, look up towards the sky, and then round your back, push your shoulders away from you, and again, arch your back, breathe in, round your back, breathe out, keep going, a couple more. Good job. Now you're gonna have a neutral spine, which means not like this, not like this, just neutral. And then you're just gonna roll your shoulders back. Let's just do that eight times. Nice and controlled. You don't want joints popping out, which I'm not saying that will happen, but you just do it nice and controlled. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Really good job. This is what I should do to not feel rough after the gym. I mean, you'll still feel rough, but in my in my experience, at least, it makes you feel less rough. <laughs> um, are these cash charges? Yeah, I call them that at least. All right, so now just a, a, just a little one for the hips. We're just gonna do some hip openers. So you're gonna bring your knee forward like this. You're gonna open up your hip as much as you can and turn it in. Let's just do six like this. Which one? Don't worry if you can't open your hip very far. Just do nice, as big of a circle as you can. Nice and big. Four. Two. More. Five. And six. Good job. Other leg. You bring it in. You open. Turn it over and you bring it down. Good job. And again. Two. Three. Four. Two more. Five. Really good job. Um, now, we're just gonna do the prayer. 
So you have your knees in, hip width, bring your arms forward as far as you can. Then you're gonna melt your heart down towards the ground, but keep your hips up. This should give you a nice stretch through your back and your shoulders. What was that? <laughs> Weird sounds all around. All right, good job. Now you reach over to the side. Good evening, tri pack. Hope you're well. Let that move my hip. Rotators always get so locked up. That's great. I'm happy you can let you can get something out of it. Okay, so you reach over to the side. Same thing. See how far you can get down. Alright, good job. And to the other side. You reach over. And lock your heart down. Good job. Bring yourself back up onto your knees. Wish me luck, I have to take a class of five-year-olds in Udo because the normal instructor has COVID. Oh no, good luck with that. Hope that goes well. All right, good job. And you stand up on your knees, bring your thumb upwards, bring your hand out. Then you put your hand into the ground and slide it as far forward as possible. See if you can put your head in, keep your thumb pointing upwards, and then bring it back up. That was one. Keep going. Three more. Two. Three. And the last one. And four. Good job. Other arm. Thumb pointing upward. Bring it down and forward. job and again two three and last one and four really good job now you bring your hands in again then you, one arm up. Hey, we're dark green. Hope you're doing well. Big stretch. We love it. <laughs> and you thread the needle here underneath your arm. Reach it as far as you can here. If this feels already a big stretch for you, stay here. Otherwise, you bring the other arm up and over and try to see if you can reach behind and then push your shoulder away from your face so look up towards the sky really good job carefully bring yourself back up teaching kids how to break fall correctly is always fun <laughs> yeah <laughs> they're always so great at it <laughs> All right, so you other way, so you reach underneath as far as you can. Nice big twist. Either stay here bring, or bring your arm over and push your shoulder away. Really good job. Carefully bring yourself up. Well done. Directions unclear. Tied myself into a knot. Hey, that's perfect. <laughs> exactly what I wanted. Alright, so now you're going to push curly toes under. Push yourself back into a downward facing. 
facing dog. Don't worry about putting your heels in just yet. We're just gonna walk it out. So you try to straighten one and lift the other. Just walk it out here. All right, now I try to push both down towards the ground, push through your shoulders as well. Now I want you to pick up one leg and then open up your hip and see if you can look underneath your arm, look up towards the sky. Good job. Other side. Bring it up. Look underneath your arm. Really good job. All right, now you're in your downward dog. You are going to lift up one leg if you want to. If it's too hard to do that, don't do that. Then you're gonna go through a push-up motion and come into a upward facing dog. And then you push back to that downward facing dog and bring up the other leg. Push up. If you don't want to do a push-up, you just don't do it. You just keep your arms straight. One more on each side. And last one. All right, really good. Uncurl your toes. If you live on the moon, gravity is your friend. We love push the ground into the ground. It is hard. It's hard to push the ground into the ground. <laughs> um. All right, really good job. I don't understand what I've written. We're just gonna do this. So what you're gonna do now, you are going to ripple your spine backwards and push into a child's pose. And you're gonna ripple it forward and come into a cobra. We're just gonna keep moving like this. So you arch your spine back, push into a child's pose. Then you round it up until you're in your cobra. And if you need to, then you have your hands further away. It makes it easier, okay? It makes it easier. So arch, and around, and around, and arch. Two more like this. one. All right, now you push back into that child's pose and you just stay there for just a little bit. And remember to breathe. It's important to breathe. Good job, grab some water. 